Welcome back to Vapor SMP. I'm Solo XO. I hope everyone enjoyed their holidays and are having a happy new year. It's exciting. 2024 is upon us. It's amazing. It's, wow, I'm flying. I'm flying. I'm flying. Okay, I'm good. I totally meant to do that. It totally wasn't an accident. So let's jump right into it today. Uh, as you can see, we're in our base area. No longer our future area. It's our base area. So we have a chest monster to prove it there. And a bed. It's all you need. And a portal. So this is our base. It's lovely. How do you like my copper floor here? It's very snazzy and fancy. Yep. No, this is, I'm just oxidizing it in the least efficient way possible because I don't really care. By the time we need this copper, it's going to be fully oxidized and we will have to deoxidize it some and wax it. So it's literally just here because, well, just because. So as I mentioned before, this bill is going to be huge. It's going to be all the way there, all the way back over there to the tree line all the way around to this tree line and all the way up to the edge over there and it's gonna be pretty big too like way up there so it's gonna take a long time to build but I have done the grind already and collected a lot of resources like a whole bunch of resources a lot of dark oak a lot of brick a lot of sandstone a lot of cobble that I had already or cobble deep slate that I had already a lot of terracotta and I had to dye it and yeah just lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff even some glowstone I've stalled so much that the sun's going down so let's start placing some blocks
it's been like three or four days since I started building this thing. <laughs> and now it's done. And I'm so happy it's done. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm I'm very happy with it. It's awesome. It's it's really really cool. Um, sorry, excuse me, my bad. Um, do you know what it is? Can you guess? It is the haunted mansion from Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida, made into a base. Yep, it's pretty cool. And yes, I know that many of my builds in the last few episodes have been inspired by Disney. And that's just the case. I like Disney. I like Disney theme parks and I like the movies and stuff. So a lot of things will be inspired by Disney going forward. That's just the way life is. But I do like to draw inspiration from other art styles and other franchises and, and stuff like that. So there will be... Other things, not only Disney. I'm just on my Disney kick at the moment. But let's go into Freecam and check it out. So this is about the angle you're supposed to view it from. It's the perspective it was designed from. Mainly because all the pictures of the attraction are from about this angle. Because, you know, Disney doesn't fully build stuff, right? So... From like this side of the building, there'd be trees and stuff. And this side, there'd be trees and stuff. Covering which would be the attraction back in this area into just a normal warehouse looking type building that's behind the scenes that you can't see. So everything from this angle is pretty accurate, including the chimney uh, staffs being there. And the arch, the back archway of this building here. Um, and that, you know, I mean, that's pretty much what you could see, right? In all the pictures. So all of the back, I've had to take some liberties with and uh, do something with. So I just put some of these, you know, uh, window areas with the arches or the roof spikes on it. And kind of tie it in. And I mirrored the chimney uh, staffs the same as the one in the front. And just mirrored this side of the building with the other side of the building that we could see. And I think it turned out great. I mean, this is pretty much what I imagined. And in this side, I just put some windows and stuff as well. Um, just to, you know, make it all look uniform in, in how it should be even though we can never see this side of the building in real life um yeah i love it i think it turned out really good i think all of the details um you know including like the windows and the scale of everything the little uh greenhouse that's attached to the side of it turned out really well you know, the details on the trimming and stuff, you know, I did the best I could. And the ornate decorations on top of the roof, you know, good. Uh, the crosses, you know, this is typically a round tower, but it's Minecraft. So this is built on an angle. So the cross is usually centered in the center here. But doing that cross on angle just doesn't just doesn't work. So they're rotated and put on the sides there. So you see two instead of one in the front, which I still think works. I think the tower turned out good. Um, when I start a big build like this, I usually pick one feature that is a prominent feature and that I can build off of. So I get that scale right and then build everything else off of it to scale to that feature. And in this build, it was the top of this tower from like here to the top, which I designed first. And once I was happy with that, I built everything off of that. And it worked out great. Like I think the scale, the relative scale of everything to each other uh, works. I was able to get enough detail in there 
to bring out the characteristics of the building um, without going too, too massive. Although this is pretty big. You can see me down there for scale. Yeah, it's pretty big. Um, other interesting details is this doorway. Um, building stairs on an angle is really difficult, uh, but I think these turned out really good. This is like the third or fourth iteration of the stairs that I kept changing until I was happy with it. And, you know, the doors on the angle as well. Um, this ornate like decoration over the door, um, I think turned out really well. I had to like experiment and play around with it a lot to get it to kind of generally match the shape of the one that's in real life. Um, and it's hard because in this scale, you don't get a lot of the details of the flowing uh, spirals, kind of flowery looking uh, aspects of it. But it, I think it turned out great. I think it gets the point across. And when you look at it side by side, it's like, all right, yeah, that's the shape of it for sure. Another interesting detail that I never noticed in the real building that I noticed when I was building this is that the archways or the overhangs on the window have these little pieces that stick down on the sides. And I, I thought it was interesting because I've never noticed that and never seen that in a window like that. But they were pretty easy to replicate here in Minecraft, which I think was amazing. So as the sun goes down, here it is at night. I think it looks really cool, really haunting. It's all spawn proof um, on the outside. Once you get off of the porch area, uh, obviously into the woods and stuff, it isn't all uh, spawn proof. But the building itself and the roof and all the ledges are. So that's good. I think it looks great at night. Let's go ahead and look at it a little bit from a distance in its setting from like the bay perspective. Um, the beacons are temporary. Um, they are there just to add speed boost so that I can run around the building faster. And I will move them into better locations so they look better and blend in better. Um, but the building's so huge, I, I needed something to run around it. So let's go take a look on the inside, because I do have an interior. It's not completely done, but all the walls and everything are up. So this is the door we come in on. Again, it's an angle, so it's really awkward to build. But I think it turned out good. This is the foyer, I guess, the main entrance way. Um, we got some smithing tables, which make a nice fancy design for the roof with some nice chandeliers to light up the ceiling a little bit. I did try to keep the light dim to kind of give this homely, like almost dark, sinister feel, but very comfortable. We got candles lighting up the area and we got this big giant rug, which has my logo in it one of my logos I guess an unofficial logo I guess which is XO but viewed from this way um, is how I stylize it I um, think that's cool it's just a little signature and homage to myself mild narcissism never hurt anyone <laughs> um, and then we have these doorways which I think are really cool they kind of got these little Searcher, or however you pronounce that word, like puck kind of like forest nymph demon type faces above them, which I think are cool. Some plants to add a little green to the area. And we come into here and it goes into the back hallway um, with just rooms off of them. Um, there's not much. Um, in the episode before, I uh, built a sugarcane and bamboo farm underneath and I went ahead and moved the storage up here to the farm see we got bamboo we got sugarcane just coming in from below and glitched out chest so down in there is where the farms are if I go into free cam I can show you real quick 
See, this is what we built in a previous episode. And I just rerouted the bubble columns to go up in there. There's no sorting system because they're separated. And they just collect in the chest. So this would just passively collect me bamboo and stuff um, as I'm in the base, which is very cool. Uh, this room is going to be my master bedroom. Again, it's pretty fancy with the ceiling and the chandelier and everything. I haven't done any of the interiors, just the structural ones pretty much. And then this row of rooms is basically for rent. So they're just standard little rooms. And what I hope is that other players on the server will come and rent out a room and then come in here and decorate it however they want and this is like their room so they can have a play a home away from home here and hopefully over time a lot of these rooms will get filled up with different styles and characters and and just b become lived in i guess you know, some of, they're all uh, slightly different. Some of them are similar. Some of them have windows. Some of them don't. You know, they're just uh, basically box rooms. And I'm hoping that people come in and, and move in and do a little decorating. Mainly because I don't want to decorate all of these rooms. And I thought it would be fun. Uh, this is going to be a restroom. It's not done yet. But, you know, if people live here, they need a restroom. So I thought, you know, in a lot of these old buildings and stuff, they usually have like communal restrooms and stuff where all the residents share a restroom. And that's how this is set up. Um, down this hallway, this is the other door to the foyer lobby area. Um, in here, I plan on making a smelter. So it's pretty big. Uh, I want a super smelter in here to be able to smelt glass and, and stone and all kinds of stuff. Uh, this will be a kitchen eventually. Obviously not done. Um, and this is the red room. This is uh, my TV room. It's one that I pretty much decorated all the way. Got some places for books and stuff and a collection of books to read and my TV. I like watching TV and, and movies and stuff. Um, and so this is where I can come and, and hang out and, and sit if the seat works. And just enjoy a nice show after a hard day's work or something. Yep. This is the Red Room. It's named after the red rug and uh, the red walls. Not after the villainous organization in Black Widow. Although that is a good movie. Um, and then this is my fart room. Happily named in honor of Iskall85 who names his storage room the fart room. Um, so got a lot more chest in here for storage. And barrels here for overflow and you know a lot of overflow will be put into shulkers and stuff so this storage should be enough to last me a very long time if not the whole season and if not I can commandeer a room and add more chest and stuff um, I got a bookshelf a lot of room for more books and stuff and all my workstations here and furnaces for smaller quantities that I don't want to use the super smelter for. I can use that. Um, but I've got all the necessities here. And here's my rug. Custom rug made. Flown all the way in from Morocco. Hand stitched. Very lovely. It's the pineapple that's on my shirt. <laughs> Uh, so adorable. It's cute. Uh, I love it. I like it. But uh, if we go out this door, which is the door that I think I will primarily use to get in and out because it goes right into my storage unit. It goes into the greenhouse that is attached to the side. Um, 
again in pictures you can't really see so like you know i put the door where i thought a door would go there is a door here that goes to the outside which i would probably use as my main entrance um, you can see that in the picture but what's inside and stuff you can't really see but here um, in all of these spots i plan on just having crops so I'll have one that's like nether war, carrots, potatoes, one that's a beetroot, and um, just have them as backup crops, right? So if I ever, for some reason, ran out of potatoes and don't have a potato anywhere, but I need potatoes, then there will be a backup here that I can just bone meal and go get, go and take it to where I need to take it and grow it where I need to grow it. So there just be a representation of all the crops in here that are kind of just backup, not used as practical farms. But this is pretty cool. And as I said, this is how I'm going to be entering the building a lot because it takes me directly to my storage room where I will probably spend most of my time here. But if we go out here back to the lobby and go up the stairs we have a second story here you can see the ceiling a little better with the chandeliers very cool and the door and everything really like how this room turned out but we have two more doors that go into another hallway here and we'll start on the other side of the hallway so as I said before, a lot of these rooms are for rent. Um, these rooms are not designated yet, um, but they will be used by me and probably farms or something will be put into them. Um, I'm not sure yet, but they're good sized rooms um, and I will utilize them. I just don't know exactly what farms I want to put where yet. Um, and then these are just more rooms that are for rent. They're pretty similar, you know, boxy rooms. Some of them have windows, some of them don't. And then the, you know, they just kind of repeat, you know, window, not window, window, not window. Um, yeah, all the way to here. So this whole row is for rent and hopefully people buy them. And people can buy more than one room and decorate them if they want because I believe there are more rooms and there are players on the server. So that's good. This will be the library. You know, we'll have bookshelves and reading nooks and stuff in here. You know, every house needs to have a library, right? At least a place where you can go and relax and read some books. Um, this room, I'm not sure exactly what it will be. It is a big room, so I'm thinking maybe a ballroom or even maybe a throne room or whatever, but I'm not sure. But I will utilize this room and I will put something cool in it. Just don't know what. This is the other door to the hallway. And we come down here. This will be the restroom for this floor. It's a little smaller, but big enough. And this door is the Radiant Dawn Luxury Suites, and it's very private and exclusive. So these are for the more wealthy players on the server who want to live a little more comfortable than just these rooms here. And these will be more expensive, but they're a little nicer. As you can see, we got a nice fancy red carpet here to show the status. You know, this is apartment one. There's only three of them available. And they will be significantly more expensive than the regular rooms there. But as you can come in, you see the rooms are a little bigger. And they even have a second living area here. So this is almost the size of a regular room. And then you have a bigger room attached to it. So you can definitely live more comfortable. You can have a bedroom in the living area or however they want but they're significantly bigger and more luxurious um, the two on the end um, number one and number three are the same you know they have a big window they have a little vaulted ceiling there and they have a separate room also with a window 
So they, these two designs are exactly the same. And number two in the middle is a little different. See on the ground floor, it seems a little bit cramped because we have a stairway in here that has uh, some storage underneath. You know, a little Harry Potter house underneath. I'm going to go ahead and sleep just to get rid of the rain. And then above the Harry Potter house, we have the upstairs, which is a stairway that brings us to another area here with a very tall ceiling. Um, if they wanted to, they could put a loft up in here if they want with a ladder going to it. Or they can just have uh, giant paintings or whatever. And, you know, this is the only two-story apartment within the building. So, and it's the only one like it, so it might be sought after. Uh, personally, I like these a little better. Um, just because they feel more spacious. And you have the extra room here. But... Yep, this is the Radiant Dawn Apartments, and they're very fancy and exclusive. I already have players wanting to claim these already, but it's going to be a first come first serve, and once I tell them the price of it, they might back away from it. <laughs> so this is the interior of the mansion, and I really hope you like it. Let me know what you think. I'm very proud of it. I like the way it turned out. I think it's very comfortable and I think I could live in here for a good amount of time. And in between episodes, I am going to move into here. I'm going to move out of Pyrat and move all of my junk over here. That's probably going to take a good amount of time. But once I'm done with that, I will spend most of my time over here and work out of here as my home base and out of the cluttered Pyrat. But we will make more visits to spawn area and interact with people and stuff. I'm not too far out. And it'll be a lot of good. And I just noticed that we got a good view of Scrooge McDuck's money bin back there. Which is, of course, my storage for my bartering farm. Um, that's really cool. Yeah, I should probably shut up. <laughs> I've been rambling, I don't know how long, we'll see how much that like gets cut and put into this episode, but you're not here to listen to me ramble about my future plans of this area. Um, but I'm very excited for it, I'm glad this base is done and I can move into it now. Very excited for all the plans that I have for this area, and I'm very excited for other members of Vapor SP to come and hang out here and, and get a room and decorate and, and all of that fun stuff. But this episode has taken a very long time to make, so I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. So go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, all of that fun stuff that we're told to say. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think of this building. I would really appreciate it if I got some feedback on it. And want to know what your opinion of it is. Okay, bye.